streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with the rainbow. Oh, hello. I want to draw a picture, but I can't think what to draw. Hello, Bungle. What are you doing? Oh, nothing really, Jeff. I'm just playing with this crown and this paper. I can't think what to draw. Well, look, you've drawn something. Oh, yes. And I didn't even know I was doing it. It's a sort of wiggly, wobbly, curvy line. You must have been doodling. Doodling? No, you mean I must have been drawing. Yes, Bungle, doodling. Drawing without thinking what you're doing. It's called doodling. Doodling? What a funny word. Doodling. Doodling? It looks a bit like scribbling. Look, Bungle, your doodle's all curvy, isn't it? It goes up and down and up and down. And if I draw another line underneath the first one and then join it up, oh, what do you think it looks like? Oh, I don't know, Bungle. Uh, a piece of string? Oh, what do you think it looks like? Oh, rather a fat piece of string, Geoffrey. I think it looks like a... A wiggly worm. And I'll put a dot where his eye is. Someone's been scribbling. I bet it was Bungle or Zippy. What, 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 you bet what was me, George? I was just wondering if you or Bungle had been scribbling. Oh, oh, it must have been Bungle, because I never, ever scribble. Oh, let, let, let's have a look, George. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's definitely one of Bungle's scribbles, yes. Well, you're wrong, Zippy. That's not one of my scribbles. That's one of my doodles. Yeah, yeah. I, I beg your pardon, Bungle. One of your what? A doodle. That is a doodle. Well, if you say so, Bungle. Well, Geoffrey told me it was a doodle. Hey, if you don't believe me, I'll go and get him. Ooh. Ooh, Zippy, you fa pass me that fat orange crayon, because I'm going to... Do, 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 do. <laughs> now, here you are, George. Uh, what are you going to uh, doodle do? <laughs> do you get it, George? Doodle do. <laughs> I'm going to doodle do a big orange blob up in this corner. <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, that looks. That looks like an orange, George. Let, let me have a go. Let, let me have a go. Which crane do you want, Zippy? Oh, that, that, that long green green one, I think. Yeah, yeah God, where are we? Yeah, thank you, George. Yes, now then. Yeah, take this. What, what, what's that supposed to be, Zippy? Nothing, George. It's just a, a green scribble. I mean, it can be whatever you want it to be. Bungle drew wavy lines and curly lines, so I've scribbled up and down lines. Yeah. Well, I think that all this doodling or scribbling or whatever it is is very silly. Don't you? Because I like a song now from Rod, Jane and Freddy. Yeah, I bet it'll be all about scribbles and doodles. <laughs> Don't you? What? 
What are you doing, ZP? Yeah, I'm writing a letter, George. Uh, look. <laughs> but, but that's not writing, that's scribble. <laughs> I've told you, George, I never scribble. That is my handwriting. Oh, no! Who's been scribbling? Scribbling all over my doodle? We have, Bungle, but... I don't know why you're getting so upset. It's not a picture, it's only a, a scribble. <laughs> or a doodle, as you call it. But my doodle is a picture, George. It's a picture of a wiggly worm. Now it's got a green splodge on top of it and, a, and an orange blob on top of that. Carly's doing a scribble for us. What do you think it could be? Piece of string! I think it's going to be an umbrella. All we need is one line up the top there and two down like that and a handle. Now we're going to make a story out of our scribbles. This story is about a cat who is very fond of her umbrella. The trouble is, because it never rains, she doesn't get a chance to use it. So she decides to take it to a jumble sale and swap it for something else. Daniel and Susie come up and we're going to have some scribbles over here and I'll see if I can make them into something that she could change her umbrella for at the jumble sale. I wonder what that could be. Does anyone have ideas what that could be? A clock. A clock. Or what else? What's um, round? A ball. A um, ball. Perhaps a ball or a balloon. I'll make it into a clock like this. You sit down, Daniel, and I'll take your pen. And we'll have somebody else up so we can really fill the page up with scribbles. We've got a clock here with legs on and a bell on the top like that that rings and some numbers. And this one, I think. Right, we'll have the strings down here like this then. And a tiny, we've only just got room for a little basket at the bottom there. Right, let's have another one. I think, Brad, you come and do one for me over here, please. There's some fabulous things at this jumble sale. What do you think she's going to change her umbrella for? A parachute. Oh, I like that. What do you think this one's going to be? Uh, 
A snake? What else? Uh, I'm going to make it into a snake with a stripy back like this. Do you think you could do this? Put a tongue on him like that and a bowler hat to make him more interesting. And some roller skates to speed him along because it's summertime. You like that. Veronica, can you do one for me and see what else we can have? I'll get on with Mrs. Cat while you're doing that. Right. Oh, that's a nice simple one. I think I'm going to make this one into a candle, somebody yeah. said. Right. We'll put a flame up there like that with a glow all the way around it. And a nice holder for it with a handle. That's the sort of candle you take upstairs to bed with you, isn't it? Well, she's very tempted by all these things. <laughs> But um, she doesn't find anything that's really going to be very useful on a hot summer's day. So she has a good idea. What do you think she might do? What do you think? She could use this as a parasol. That's a fabulous idea. So what she does is buys a nice piece of lace like this. There's another scribble for you. Adds a little bit of colour. There you go. And she's got a beautiful summer parasol. And there's the sun. It's another scribble. <laughs> and there's the sun smiling happily. And she decided to use her umbrella as a parasol. Oh, wasn't that lady clever turning those children's scribbles into all those different pictures? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, no, let's have another look at your picture, shall we? Uh, you mean my doodle and George and Zippy's scribble? Well, do you think we can turn it into a picture? Oh, no, Jeffy. You'll never turn that into a picture. Well, we'll see. George, pass me your orange crayon, please. Y y y Thank you. Now then, if I put some lines around the orange, what does that look like? It looks like an orange with little lines around it. Well, I think it looks like a, a spiky orange conker. Now, Zippy, can I have that red crayon, please? Uh, the red crayon, yes, that's right, it. Right. Thank you. Now then, if I put some lines on top of Zippy's scribble, like that, just fill that in a little bit, and oh, uh, it, it looks like a red tent on green grass. Yeah. Oh. Now, Bungle, draw some more wavy lines underneath your worm, <laughs> like this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Now, I'll do a little scribble up here. Now, we turn all those scribbles and doodles into a picture. Oh, Geoffrey. You are clever, Geoffrey. Look, my wiggly worm is the sea. <laughs> and my green scribbles a boat with red sails. <gasps> and my big orange blob is the sun in the sky. <laughs> Look, my little scribble up here, that's the a cloud, isn't it? <laughs> well, why don't you see if you can make some scribbles and doodles into a picture? We've got to go now, but we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Well, let's do some more, Jeffrey. <laughs> There are three new titles in the Rainbow Things to Do series, Fun with Food, Growing Things and Noisy Things, published by Thames Methuen. <laughs>